welcome to the Clary Tale and welcome to this very sort of different video this week because this video is actually an ad. Uh, this company reached out to me, the founder saw my Japan videos and they messaged me and said they'd like to work with me and after the research I said yes because it's very exciting and very me, you'll see why. So the company is called Boxu and it is a monthly subscription snack box with authentic Japanese snacks inside and they are from small businesses in Japan. So, so authentic and it's premium as well. So it's good quality versions of the snacks as well. So really exciting and you know what I'm like with my snacks and my sweet stuff. So of course I had to say yes. Uh, I actually did, we actually had a bit in one of my Japanese videos where we were trying different flavored Kit Kats and I thought maybe he saw that because that is pretty much what we're gonna do today. I'm going to get Simon to come and have a little taste of all the things that they sent me in this box. So I hope you enjoy this video. I will link the Boxu link in my description box and in my comments. I've got a discount code as well, which is a Claritale 10. It gets you 10% off, which is $44 off your first box. So I hope you enjoy that. Let me know if you use it. And you don't have to get a whole year's worth of boxes. You can just get one as well. And that's what I'm going to show you today because the first box is a four seasons throughout Japan. It's snacks from most regions in Japan and it's each season which is exciting so i'm gonna get simon down to, to have a little taste of all these snacks and see what we think of them all maybe have a little rating system and try them so i really hope you enjoy this video so the boxes came like this i've received two and i was told i was only getting one so this is quite interesting i'm looking forward to seeing what they both are I've got an orange one and a pink one i'm gonna open this wrapper now and see check them out Look at these boxes, they're beautiful. I love this with the cherry blossom on. So I'm not quite sure why I've got two. It could be that I know there were a bit of problems with delivery with COVID, so it could be that it's the same. Ooh, Seasons of Japan, it comes with a little booklet. Let's see if this is the same because then at least we know. If I can open it, there we go. Seasons of Japan, yeah, so they are the same. That's good to know. So, shall we open one and have a little look? Let's put over there. Oh, these boxes, this is so exciting. Oh, wow! Look at all these treats. Hi, Boxu buddy. Uh, this is who I've been talking to. Oh, how exciting. This feels so nice. I should have a look what's in here. Oh, it tells you what everything is. Great. Let's have a look at that in a minute. And then this is the box. Wow. So it's not even got padding. It's literally full to the brim of Japanese snacks. I remember seeing this guy everywhere. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. It's full. So this is everything that was inside this box. Look at all these goodies. So Seasons of Japan. So it looks like we're going to be getting a little tour around Japan. Show you all the places that everything comes from. With the pictures of the packets. And then it tells you what every 
single item is. This is for winter. So cool. So we must have missed. There is spring and summer. Right, we're rolling. Right. So I've got Simon here to help me. Hello. And we're gonna try all these tasty treats. I'll move this box and let's get into this. So, where to start? So there's the spring um, section. So the first thing we've got are cocoa. I'll just say as well, I might be butchering the Japanese language here. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Uh, it's minute stick potato. So I think they're potato chips. Yeah, looks like it. Product of Tokyo, and it's a savoury snack. And suitable for vegetarians, it says. Oh yeah. It says something about Japanese plum. They're from the plum tree. Thin, crispy sticks are bursting with flavour, like an ode to the Japanese plum tree. Oh, so that's going to be quite a floral, plum blossomy taste. Okay. Right, should we give them a try? Sure. Should I have got you a bowl? You scissors? Yeah, and some bowls or something. Should I get a bowl? Yeah. Bowls. Right, should we give these a try? I don't know if I've ever had a floral crisp before. Oh, they, they actually do look like chips. Ready to try? Yeah, so give it a go. Yeah. They're really nice. They are nice. They're really nice. They're really nice. I don't get the floral, do you? No. In a UK equivalent, it's going to sound weird. They taste like a very mild flavour. Of prawn cocktail crisps. Mmm. Like skips. Yes. Yeah. Don't they? they do. They have, but it's not strong at all. It's, it's a little really bit of seasoning. Nice. Right, when we try a bit, let's put them back in this box. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Oh, the mochi. Mochi ball. So this is similar to the mochi balls that we had in Disney. Oh, you've got two packets. There's two packets of them. So they must be the same. We'll just open one, shall we? Okay, so again, they're vegetarian. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Um, traditionally, it's, I think it goes with rice cake. What colour would you like? Green, white, or pink? I'll try green. Maybe that's melon. Yeah, melon or apple. It's actually a bit nothingy. Well, this is quite perfumey. Oh, there must be different flavours. Yeah, it's definitely it's melon. Should we have a swap? Go on then, try that. And what was this one? I don't know. Nothing else. It, yeah, it didn't really taste anything. I like the sugar on it. Oh yeah, that's got, that's really nice actually. I like this one. I like that they like their melon flavoured. I wish we had more melon flavours in the UK. Yeah, this has got no flavour. Yeah, it's it? got no flavour, has it? No. Should we see what the pink one is? Go for it. It's nice though, it's just like a little sweet. It is a jelly, like a jelly sweet. Yeah. It takes a while, doesn't it? It's very really chewy. chewy. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a feeling that that might, might be more of a floral taste. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit more flowery. I got water to cleanse my palate. I know. I should have done the same. Next in the spring, pear fromage biscuit. Wow. Sounds good. It's that one. This snack is sweet. Vegetarian as well. It's good that it tells you those bits. Yeah. And it's got allergy things on as well. Oh, that's good. So if you've got any allergies, it tells you what's in it. Ashi or pear has held a special place in Japan's heart for centuries. A little biscuit with pear, cheese, cheese. and white chocolate. It might be a, like a flavourless cheese, you yeah. know, like um... It's like, I like all those ingredients, but together is a bit... Yeah. Oh, let's give it a go. That's what it looks like. I wonder if that white bit's the white chocolate or the cheese. I think it's a mixture of both. So I can taste the cheese. Oh yeah? It's like a cream cheese taste. Um, oh, okay. A bit of a sour milk taste actually. I can smell the pear. Mm. A very natural yogurt flavour in I, the middle. Yeah, I like it though. I really yeah, like nice. this. I wouldn't say, maybe because it's got pear and white chocolate in it, it is a sweet, but I wouldn't say it is sweet. sweet. I really like the pear flavouring. Yeah, it's nice. Pear biscuits, they're the future. <laughs> I really need a drink. <laughs> what have you got? Water. I am. It's neutral. I'm gonna go and get a drink. You, you, were, you were too wise. No, I've seen cooking shows. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 
got my Tokyo Disneyland uh, mug. I thought that'd be appropriate. Last one of spring. Last one of spring. White strawberry. Oh, I'm not gonna like this. I'm not a fan of strawberry. It's these two, I think. So this is the world's first chocolate infused strawberry produced by an innovative Nagano, Nagano maker. Exclusively for Boxu. Oh, right. cool. The world's first chocolate infused strawberry. So we have one each. Do you want to try it? You're not a big fan of Yeah, I don't think I'm going to like it. Okay. I, might be one that I skip. So the freshest strawberries are harvested from a local farm. Yeah. These strawberries freeze dried to remove all the water and then infused with white chocolate. Wow. So the strawberries are cooled, resulting in the perfect balance of smooth yet crunchy texture. Shall I be brave and give it a little try? Yeah, go for it. I'll go. It's still got the seeds and everything. Yeah, you won't feel them. You won't taste them. Are you sure? Yeah, right. positive. Be brave. It's so sweet. When you bite into it, it's not like biting into a normal strawberry, which is obviously juicy. So sweet. It's like biting into a piece of chocolate. It's got that same crunch as chocolate would yeah. do when you bite into it. Did you find it was a bit sour? There was something that made me go... That's just the taste of the strawberry. Yeah. It literally and I'm, is. Yeah, and I'm You're not. just not used to it. Yeah. And you can see where the white chocolate has gone down the core of the strawberry. Yeah, I think if you like strawberries, you'll love that. Right. What is next? Summer. Dive into summer with these treats. Um, God. This one. Yes. Marla Agisen fried rice cracker. Is this going to be like a snacker jack? It could be. Right. Okay, so it also contains a mollusk shellfish, so it's not suitable for vegetarians. And obviously, if you've got allergies to fish, yeah. um, shellfish, then you don't eat it. Snacker savoury. Yeah. It's a fried rice cracker that will blow your mind. What does that mean? I think it might have heat in it then. Uh oh. Yeah, look, there's pictures of chilies. So there's a, in the picture there's some chili peppers and some um, peppercorns. So it's going to have a bit of heat to it. I'm I glad think. I've got that drink. Yeah. Right. So. What are we doing? Okay. Oh yeah, it's a giant snacker jack. Oh wow, looks good. I'm gonna crack it over the bowl. Yeah. You want to try that? See what you think. I'm going to like it if it's got heat. Oh, oh my gosh, I can smell. Oh, do you know what it smells like? Those um, flaming hot Monster Munch. Mm. <laughs> I really like that. That's nice. I, can really, I really like that. I'm surprised it's because I don't like spice. Oh, it's hit. It's hit, tingling my tongue. But you can see you don't know this because you don't eat a, a lot of fish and seafood. I can taste the seafood in that. Is I don't too, like it. Is it too hot? <laughs> I've changed my mind. Yeah, it's the heat's really got you. tingling my tongue. You want your drink? Oh no, no, I do know what you mean about the fish. You can taste it, can't you? Yeah, that's not my favourite. We should do. Um, oh, I really like that. <laughs> That's your favourite. We should do like a five out of five and... Okay. Or maybe at the end, let's choose our best favourite treats. Right, that's up there as my number one favourite so far. That's my least favourite. <laughs> We're a good team. Yeah. <laughs> you eat the ones I don't. Next. Don Don Yaki. Is that this one? No, I think it's that one there. Ah. There's people on it with a drum. Oh, cool. It's like the Japanese um, pavilion. Yeah, it is. Right, and what is this? So it's savoury, named after the sound of the beating taiko drums. They are fried and then marinated in tonkatsu sauce. We oh. went to a tonkatsu restaurant. Yeah, we liked that, didn't we? Tangy, peppery, a little sweet. Tonkatsu sauce is a popular condiment for many of our fried foods. Maybe they like um, little rice crackers or something. They like their rice, don't they? Mm. They grow a lot of it. Yeah. Right. Oh, they're like little um, snacks. Mm. 
That's nice. I like that. The sweeter than the mm, other one. That's so nice. Mm. That surprised me. I wouldn't say we have anything. It is like a look, it looks like a little it's rice kind of, cracker. They're puff, yeah. Marmite, yeasty, savoury flavour to it as well. Does it? Mm. That's sweet. the tonkatsu sauce, then, yeah. isn't it? Is that... It's a bit like teriyaki flavour. Sweet yeah. and savoury. I like those. They're nice. That was a good one. Yeah. Should we have the savoury one next before we yeah. have the sweet one again? You're not going to like this. Oh, no. I don't think I can try this one. <laughs> Seaweed tempura. With citrus flavour. Citrus flavour. It's the product of Hiroshima Prefecture. It contains mollusk shellfish. Again, not suitable for vegetarians. And wheat and egg allergies. Addictive seaweed sheets. I'll be the judge of that one. <laughs> are battered, fried and flavoured to create a crisp and tangy snack. Well, okay. Well, I don't mind that. You're going to like these. Yeah. like there's oh is that the seaweed, the seaweed I, was, dark, I was about to say chocolate no. <laughs> i wish that's them i i'm not going to try these you're not going to eat your yeah, i've decided right okay here we go then we can smell the, the lime oh yeah really limey <laughs> they are really good really yeah they're really good they are like the lime tortilla chips you can get those Dorito Dorito ones, ones are, are the ones you well, get in America. What about seaweed though? You can't taste it. <sighs> Shall I try it? Yeah, seaweed doesn't really have much of a flavour when it's dried and crispy like that. Okay. The same when you have sushi, you can't really taste it. I, I just want to say that I am being so brave here. I never yeah. Yeah. try things. Definitely from the sea. No, nothing from the sea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> laughing? <laughs> Wait for your reaction. Yeah, you're right. You can't taste the seaweed. No. <laughs> That's probably good because seaweed's good for you, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very limey though. Yeah. Very limey. Do you like it? I think so. You think yeah. so? Yeah. I think I do. It's really hard to, to get your mind away from the fact that I'm eating something that I mm. don't think I'd like. You can taste the seaweed, but... The seaweed doesn't taste how you think it would taste. That's no. why you can't taste it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. The seaweed doesn't taste like salty, something salty and slimy. Fishy. Is what you might, and fishy is what you would imagine it to. The seaweed flavour is what you're getting at the end, which is that kind of earthy taste. Yes, that's, earthy taste. That's the seaweed. That's, that's what, what I taste. can taste. It's very irony, very, because it's green and it's got lots of nutrients in it. That's why you can taste the, like a spinach flavour. That surprised me. That yeah. was nice. That it was is nice. really nice. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Interesting. Right, and last of the summer, handmade yuzu sake candy. Okay. So that's uh, an alcohol, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a rice wine, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I like the little packet it's in. Oh, it's in a little reusable packet, reusable seal. From Kyoto. Product oh. of Kyoto. And suitable for vegetarians. And it's just a sweet that contains alcohol, it says. Yeah, they just blend yuzu juice or yuzu juice with sake. It's like a lemon orange family. So sake almost tastes like yuzu lemonade. Sweet, refreshingly citrusy. Right. We're going to be a while. It's a hard boiled sweet. Is it a hard boiled sweet? I think so. Yeah, it feels it. Will we be sloshed after these? <laughs> oh, it's really nice. Mm. Oh, of course I'm going to love a sweet, aren't I? <laughs> They're really nice. They're a good um, landing... Palette a, yeah, cleanser. Yeah, but also landing on the, on the plane sweet. Yes. That they give you before you land. No, this reminds me of a palette cleanser. Mm. Was it um, a power? It's like a sherbet, like a lemon sherbet. Do you know the ones that... Oh, hard boiled, but then they've got some powder in the middle. And it comes through a little hole. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. They're really nice. Yeah, they are nice. That's been my favourite thing so far. Mm -hmm. Several uh, hours later, after the hard boiled sweets. Right, let's go on to autumn or fall. And I'm very excited about this one when I saw this because it looked like a cookie. Yeah. And I think it is really apple caramel sable. 
This cookie, chewy, oh, it means chewy sable in Japanese. French butter cookie, oh, I'm gonna love this. It's a winner, isn't it? I'm gonna love it. Soft and sweet without it being overpowering. Right, let's go. Look at this cookie. Oh, it's really soft. Oh, it it's is. as if it's just been baked. It's... Oh, it smells like Christmas. It's very um, American. Yeah. It's apple cinnamon. Very nice, isn't it? <laughs> Love it. This is my number one. You like it? I'm going to eat it's, this whole thing. It's really strong on the um, caramel in the centre. Yeah. And that looks, it tastes like there's a little bit of cinnamon in it, I think. Mm -hmm. I am really impressed with this so far. It's lovely, isn't Absolutely it? It's really good. delicious. What's next? Matcha chocolate stick cake. I'm a bit nervous about this because we had matcha flavoured Kit Kats, didn't we? And they were not good. Yeah, they were good. good. <laughs> no. And this is from Osaka. Oh. We didn't get to go there this time. Matcha flavour is softened. Yeah. With chocolate chip, making this cake one of the most enjoyable ways to get your cup of matcha for the day. <laughs> okay. That's good then. Maybe it might not be as strong as a no. cat. Look at that cake. It looks like... Wow, it looks so moist. But they're right. The chips sweeten it up and yeah, make it nicer. Top. Yeah. I can definitely taste the, the tea. Yeah. It's, it's, it is nice though. I guess I just... The tea just makes it not bitter, but there's no sweetness to it. Mm. The, the chocolate chips are the only bit that's sweet in it. Yeah. If it had the, didn't have the chocolate chips, it would be like a savoury yeah. sponge. And the sponge is so soft. Yeah. It's nice. It's not. Mm. It is nice. If you're going to say this is a matcha, I would prefer to eat it this way than I did the Kit Kat. Yeah. Because the Kit Kat was really bitter. Yeah, that's nice actually. Yeah. I, I can tell because I keep going for more, so yeah, it is nice. nice. Oh, did you finish that then? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've got a big map. <laughs> Black sesame taiko. Taiko? Yeah. Well, you can get things like this over here where they just basically have sesame seeds with sugar stuck together, which I've sometimes had, so I don't know how they... How cute is that? I love the packaging. The, all the black sesame seeds together. Oh, with a sugar syrup. So it's very similar to the one in the UK. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. It looks like bird food. Look at all those seeds. It just broke quite easily then. I'm just going to try a little bit. Mm. I'm not really a seeds person. What do you think? Lovely. What does it taste like? Sesame seeds. I don't think I've ever so, had that before. If you've had sesame seeds on top of a burger bun before, yeah, it'll be like that. You'll be like that. Hmm, not a big fan of that one. What's next? Mini Shiruko Sando red bean crackers. Didn't you have something red bean? I had a red bean cake, didn't I? It was a pancake with red beans in the yes. middle. Yes. Yeah. And they said it was, it was a Kyoto thing. So what's that? That one. This there? one. Okay. But this is crackers. Oh, yeah. They look like little um. Tuck crackers. Oh, they do. Who took your crackers? Sorry? Who took your crackers? <laughs> Thank you. That's what I have to live with. Oh, yeah, they're just crackers, aren't they? Yeah. It's a thin layer of red bean paste which adds a hint of sweetness. Mm. Mm, it's really nice. It tastes like a sweetened version of a Ritz cracker. Yeah, literally. Do you know what it tastes like? A rich, not a rich tea, a milk. Malted milk? A malted milk biscuit. It does. It's exactly like a malted milk. One with milk. a cow on the front? Yeah. It is. It's a malted milk. How mad. I really like those. No, nice. Do you want another one? No, you can't. Really. I'm having another one. <laughs> left, not much left now. We're on to winter. Oh, I really like that biscuit. It's nice. It tastes it? so nice. Good to drink. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so this is one we're not going to try here. It's organic genmaicha tea. It's two packets. That's good that there's two. Yeah. Tea. And apparently they pair well with everything that's in this box. 
Oh, Boxu created it. Oh, right. Lovely. Yeah, organic tea. Jaga Pokuru. These look like the chips from before. They look more like, looking at the actual packet now, french fries. They look like french fries. They're quite thick compared to the other ones. Hokkaido grown potatoes. High quality potatoes cut and processed using unique method. They, the salt brings out the natural potato flavour. It may look like a simple french fry, but don't be deceived. They are buttery and every bite is just as delicious as the first. Mm. And Interesting. That's very interesting. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, it literally looks like chips. Even down to the little skin on there, it looks like a chip, a french fry. Right, let's try this chip. That's really nice. Mm. It's crispy. We have crisps over here. I think they're called french fries. And they're kind of curly. Yes. And I'd say they're similar to that. Yeah. Better quality though, I think. Mm. Well, Look, definitely. You can taste the quality of the potato. Yeah. They're definitely. really nice. Yeah. No, if you like them, you keep them because I'll be eating the things that... <laughs> that I don't like. That you don't like. We saw this little guy everywhere in Japan. I think it must be a well-known brand. Yeah. Gouda, Gouda Tama Golden Pack Tamago Kaki Gohan flavour. Yeah. Wow, I probably butchered that. And what is it? What is it? Good question. Gouda Tama, his name is. He's a character beloved in Japan. Right. It's Japan's most famous egg. So it looks like this, is, this has got egg in it. Okay. Fluffy and flavoured like a Japanese comfort food. Hot rice, soy sauce and raw egg stirred into it and then turned into kind of a puffy stick flavour thing. Oh yeah! How weird. Big, looks like a big what's it. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> right, I'll break it over this. Oh, it's gonna... Do you think we should just bite it? Yeah, just bite the end. Oh, oh. there we go. Okay. It tastes like a giant what's it. Yeah, it's a what's it, monster munch texture. Mm. It tastes the egg. It tastes like egg yolk. Does it? Yeah. That's all it tastes like to me. Mild omelette, the middle of a fried egg, egg yolk flavour. Mm. Don't you think? Is that a yolk? No. Was that an attempt at a yolk? That was nice. One's enough. It's terrible. Wow, oh. last one. This is the last one, everybody. What is it? Funwari Majin Mochi Puffs Kinako. It's from Niigata. Snack is sweet. So it's mochi but it's sweetened into a crisp and airy texture, cloud-like perfection. Right. It looks like it's got that powder that I had on those things at the top of Mount, the Mount Fuji place. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're really puffy. They kind of look like donut holes. But when you bite into it, it looks like it's um, candy floss in the middle of that kind of structure. Look oh, at it, it's weird. Yeah. It tastes like those things I had at the top of Fuji. Oh my god, it just melts. It just melts in yeah. your mouth. I don't know if you can see that, but this white bit in the middle is literally like candy floss. But crispy. But crispy, like crispy candy floss. Maybe like some kind of cereal. Yeah, the way it's poofy. Yeah, like a rice cereal. I don't know, it's strange, isn't it? That just melts in your mouth. Yeah. So, what was your number one? Number one, the fiery rice cracker, I think. Wow. Well, it, that or the um, the seaweed lime crisps. Great. Okay. I would say that was, they were my top two. Your top two. Easy. My top two were the cookie. The apple one. The apple caramel cookie. Yeah. Um. What else did I? Oh no, the and the malted milk biscuits that right. aren't malted milk. What were they called? These ones, the red bean crackers, yeah. they were my favourite. Okay. Oh, both of mine are for, from fall. Right. And sweet. Surprising. And sweet, yeah. Surprise, surprise. And mine were 
both from summer. Oh yeah. Yeah. And both savoury. And both savoury. What have you just had a bite of? The rest of my egg stick. <laughs> well, thank you for trying all these with me. No problem. <laughs> Set. <laughs> Eating and enjoying. I feel like I've got snacks all around my mouth now. <laughs> just ignore that. I really enjoyed that snack box. There's so much in there and the brochure telling you all about the regions of Japan where everything is from and uh, the tradition and the culture of it all. I loved it. It's quite a, a learning experience as well. So I definitely recommend getting these boxes. I will put the link below and my code which gets you 10% off. I think it saves you about $44. So definitely recommend using that as well. And if you do get the box, please let me know. I'd love to hear what your favorite snack was. From what you saw us trying, what do you think your favorite snack would be? I, of course, my favorite was the, the sweet ones. I just, that, that was just gonna always be the way. <laughs> me and my the biggest sweet tooth in the world. And then obviously that was the first box and then the subsequent boxes are gonna have different snacks in. So I think it just, it, you're just always gonna be learning and trying new things. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time for another one. Bye. Make your memories, make your memories, take your pictures, make your memories.